Let me take you to a point in time. It's about three and a half decades ago. Calcutta, the oldest city in uh, India, was preparing to celebrate its tercentenary, 300 years. And different celebrations were afoot. So my mom, Joya Mitter, she was an ardent devotee of the mother in Shurbindo, popularly known as Joyadi, started thinking that this is the place where Shurbindo had spent a very important period of his life and she wanted to know first herself and then to bring to people's notice and attention the places where Shurbindo had actually lived and worked. She broke through the red tape of the government, sieved through file after file after file, forgotten files, forgotten records that dated more than a century back and she uncovered systematically and you know with great rigor each and every place that Sherbindo had lived and worked in Calcutta. So this is that story which we are retelling on the eve of Sherbindo's 150th birth anniversary here in collaboration with Sherbindo Ashram Pondicherry. I must also add that after this work was completed in 1990, Sri Aurobindo Ashram archives, in particular Jayanti Lalda, Jayanti Lal Parekh, confided in, in my mother that the, a great tragedy was that the records of the Alipur bomb trial were lost to posterity. They could not be found. By the way, Alipur bomb trial was probably the most famous trial in pre-independent India and had the greatest consequences. Upon listening to Jayanti Lalda, my mother set to work again and this was probably in the early 90s and it took her a good five years plowing through Alipur judge's court looking for where these documents or these files might be. She was able to uncover a hidden trunk dusty, not opened for eight long decades and lo and behold when the trunk was broken open entire set of records of the Alipur bomb trial stored systematically by the British with all their meticulousness and systems were uncovered and that was indeed a national treasure. The whole thing was microfilmed and shared with Nehru Memorial Museum in Delhi and with the Sri Aurobindo Ashram archives and given to the nation for posterity. Uh, the biggest attraction, or let's say one of the biggest attractions of this section of our exhibition here in Calcutta, or there in Calcutta, is the fact that we have installations of uh, Sherbindo's jail cell and uh, the courtroom. I need to add that everybody in the ashram has extended a great helping hand. There has been more than an enthusiastic response to this exhibition which started on 11th July. We are deeply humbled with the results of this effort. So many people, not only Ashramites, but so many people from the town of Pondicherry and tourists to Pondicherry have flocked to this exhibition. We are overwhelmed and we feel deeply grateful for the opportunity given to us. I wish that in this digital retelling, it will give you a touch, a feel, and probably a narrative. And most importantly, it will share with everybody a little bit, a very, very little bit of the greatness, the majesty that Sri Aurobindo stands for.